All right, I think we should go ahead and get started. I wanna send a warm welcome and greetings to all of you who are here with us today on behalf of SDI, Spiritual Directors International. We are delighted that you have come together into this space to get a uh, sneak preview of the gender Everything okay? Yes, I'm sorry. I am um, I am double hearing myself because it's streaming live to YouTube at the same time. So I don't know if you all could hear that, but I just heard myself echoing exactly what I just said. So um, <laughs> tech issues, we're all good. Let's continue. Uh, so once again, welcome to everybody for this sneak preview of the Gender Equity and Spiritual Companionship Institute that is going to be offered at the SDI conference in April. It's called Becoming Whole Together. And I'm very excited to introduce um, the folks who will be guiding us today. Uh, we have with us here, Will and Cynthia Keepin. Uh, I'm sorry, Will Keepin and Cynthia Bricks. William Keepen is a mathematical physicist and scholar practitioner of interfaith spirituality. And he is the co-founder of Gender Equity and Reconciliation International. And if you're not familiar with the acronym JERRY, which we'll be using a lot today, that is what it stands for. Uh, he's joined by Cynthia Bricks, who is the co-director of Satyana Institute and co-founder also of Gender Equity and Reconciliation International. Cynthia is an ordained interfaith minister. We also have with us uh, Desiree English, who is all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. And Desiree is serving as the director of training for Jerry in Africa. Um, and finally, we have uh, Garrett, who is the international program officer of Jerry. I'm going to pass uh, the mic over to you all. And I'm just uh, once again, welcome. And I'm so glad that you all are here. Thank you, Frederica. It's a privilege and a pleasure to be here today and be with all of you. My name is Reverend Cynthia Bricks. A very, very warm welcome to all of you. And I am William Keepen. And maybe Desiree and Garrett can give a wave. You'll hear from them shortly. There you go. And I want to also just, I see one of our other facilitators from, um, from California, Jane Colbreth is here on the call. Wave there, Jane. Thank you for Great joining us, you, Jane. Jane. And any of our other friends that we know, we welcome you and those of you we're just meeting. So um, we have a full time for our hour. We're going to um, speak a little bit here in the beginning, and then we're going to move you into talking with each other and doing a little experiential. One important thing to know about our work is that everything is an invitation. So even though we're going to do some activities, you decide how much you're participating. And even if you choose not to speak or share or whatever, that is also participating and holding the witness and, and being part of this group. So we appreciate you being here. This work started, or, or the one way to think about this work is um, from a quote from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, who said, injustice and corruption will never be transformed by keeping them hidden, but only by bringing them out into the light and confronting them with the power of love. And that is what our work's about. We convene safer or safe or brave space like this one um, where people come together uh, to confront and, and, and also just to speak truth about gender and sexuality, uh, the taboo and often sensitive issues in the larger communities or societies. And we do this without shame or blame. We do this with compassion, with agape love, with, um, with a place of not only coming into equal rights, if you will, but a higher reverence of one another. So I just want to say what a great privilege it is to welcome all of you um, and a privilege it is for us to be introducing this program, this taster today, uh, to uh, Spiritual Directors International or really Spiritual Companions International, as I know that that's how you speak of it. Um, that has been such a powerful and profound role in our own lives, having been 
mentored by some very remarkable spiritual mentors. So I just want to honor the profound work that you're engaged in and the joy and the service that that entails. We want to begin with um, a short poem. So we're just going to, a bit of a kind of invocation. So we just invite you to gently either close your eyes or have a soft gaze to the keyboard or the floor. And just going inward, gathering yourself into that eternal silence that dwells in the depths of the heart. As we gather in the name of the one who is beyond all names, yet comes by whatever name we invoke. And we have a short poem by the great Sufi Fakhruddin Araki. Every word of every tongue is love telling a story to her own ears. Every thought in every mind, love whispers a secret to her own self. Every vision in every eye, she shows her beauty to her own sight. Every smile on every face, love reveals her own joy for herself to enjoy. Love courses through everything. Nay, love is everything. How can anyone say there is no love when nothing but love exists? All that you see has appeared because of love. All shines from love, all pulses with love, all flows from love. Nay, once again, all is love. So as you hear the sound of the bell, just coming back into the rectangular circle, as it were, mm -hmm. and welcoming one another just with smiles and eye contact. And as we begin our time together, we're gonna invite our facilitation team, Desiree, Garrett, Will, and myself for just a short introduction of ourselves beyond what Frederica has already provided. So Desiree, passing the ball over to you. Thank you, Cynthia. Hello, everyone. My name is Desiree English, and I live and work in the beautiful city of Cape Town in South Africa. And I attended my first three-day gender reconciliation workshop in 2014, where I was working. And since then, I have been absolutely immersed in the work for my, my personal growth and healing as well as my professional development. And since then, I have trained as a facilitator of the work, both the in-person and the online program. Um, I'm, a, I'm a lead facilitator of that, both programs. And I'm also a senior trainer of facilitators of the work, the in-person and the online program as well. And I'm extremely happy and excited to be sharing this time with you. Thank you. So um, I am Will Keepin, and sorry, I didn't realize I was going next. Um, <laughs> you've already heard a bit about me, um, but uh, I'm a climate scientist by original training, working on uh, policies for mitigating global warming. In the context of that work, <clears throat> back in the 80s, there was quite a bit of sexual harassment taking place uh, within our professional networks. And so we began to address it. And that's how this work got started. Um, the initial program was called Gender in Ecology. Are there parallels between exploitation of the earth and exploitation of the feminine? And that emerged in the 90s. We were very inspired by Desmond Tutu's work um, of truth and reconciliation. So we called it gender reconciliation and then later gender equity and reconciliation. And the work really grew from there. We got invited to India in 2001, to South Africa in 2003. And now we've become an international training organization. We've introduced the program in 12 countries. We're training in five countries. 
and it seems to be just gathering momentum, particularly after the Me Too movement. So that's just a little bit about the background. Thank you. And my name again is, is Cynthia Bricks and um, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. Will and I are a married couple. If we, did, we my, my mother introduced me to this work and so um, then it's just evolved from there. Um, I have a Me Too story that really brought me into the work. I was working in a corporation. I was sexually propositioned by the founder and uh, chairman of the board. And when I brought that forward, I was pushed out of that organization. Um, even though I did it with as much compassion in my heart as possible to bring it forward. When I was pushed out, I didn't trust men. I didn't like men. I didn't know how to be around men, but I also didn't trust women because the women in the organization betrayed me too. They had to, to keep their jobs. And so um, I had a lot of healing to do. I was one of those people, for those of you who are spiritual directors that would show up in your room and say, I need some help here. And so I went through a lot of healing with my therapist and, and spiritual um, direction and uh, landed here realizing I needed to, to work with coming into deeper understanding of the system that's oppressing us all and violating us all and coming into a deeper compassion. Uh, I'll just end by saying Will and I have two children, uh, Patrick and Emily, and a granddaughter who's two years old. So Garrett, thank you. It's a joy to be here. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Garrett. Um, I came into the gender equity and reconciliation work about five years ago. And, you know, as a young man, I was just really in a place of of grappling with my, with my life and with, especially with relationships with women. And, you know, at once kind of starting to, to wake up to the, to the challenges between the genders and um, also really wanting to find, to find a way into right relationship. Um, and so I was, I was really in a seeking, seeking place, longing for, for some way for men and women to find their way through. And I think it was out of that place that I, that I found this work. And I read the book that Will and Cynthia had written and was just deeply compelled by the level of truth telling that was happening in these circles, kind of beyond what I had thought was possible. And I also feel that, you know, out of just telling each other the truth, something very beautiful and new was emerging. There was kind of a new way of being together that was being born, that was deeply inspiring and compelling to me. And so I, I wrote to Will and Cynthia and shared that with them and came to a workshop and did the facilitator training and have now been, been working um, full time with, with GERI for the last about three years. So very happy to, to meet you today and to be here with all of you. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's all great. We've met you now. What is this stuff you call gender <laughs> equity and reconciliation. So we actually have a very short video, about five minutes we're gonna show you. Before we do that, I wanna explain, we have, because particularly for you, this I think will be of interest, our work has built in at its foundation, a spiritual foundation that the, this spirit, gender crisis is actually a spiritual crisis and that social, psychological, and political reform are not enough to transform it. So we hold very deeply um, a spiritual root as the, at the core of this work. And our other project is called Dawn of Inter Spirituality, in which we bring together the different religious traditions. We were mentored by Father Thomas Keating and a number of other senior religious leaders who are active in interfaith, the interfaith amigos. And so we work in a very parallel field to all of you in terms of the spiritual commitment and foundation of our work. And I've just finished a paper on the divine feminine across uh, the major world religions. So I just want you to be aware that we hold a strong commitment to the spiritual dimension of this work. And it's one of the things we're often noted for as distinct from other gender equality programs, which are often more secular. So with that said, let's roll the film. It's about four and a half minutes. It'll give you a sense of what the work actually is. I have 
never heard of a gender reconciliation workshop I didn't know what to expect in the first place the work itself is so powerful and that was enough to to, to just pull you in and and let you fully participate one man said at the end of this work I'm glad to have seen women speaking from their heart about the way they've been violated because I myself as a man have done many of these things and today I'm aware of the pain that I have caused. Another woman said, I used to hate every man, but now as a result of this work, I'm a new person and I've learned that not all men are the same and I respect men. When she was narrating this story, actually my tears came out. My tears came out and that is the reason that triggered my spirit to feel that I need to apologize. The miracle of all that was when one of the gentlemen stood up and went to the center and knelt down. Even I feel emotional when I talk about it. Knelt down. You know about our culture and you know how men don't give any space. And this gentleman went and knelt down and said, I want to apologize on behalf of your uncles. And then the girl just started weeping. And she said, at that moment, when that man knelt down and apologized, she forgave him. A hatred that she had carried so for so long. And she was just cleansed. That was powerful. That was awesome to see. I mean, it works. It really works. It really changes people's lives. So here we we come to collaborate um, on a, a partnership uh, that has already shown very good results. These two people here um, have how many years now? Twenty. Twenty-one, it's okay. Um, <laughs> yes. have, have been working on this whole question of gender reconciliation. The work of racial reconciliation is never going to be complete without the work of gender reconciliation. What is different about this work from any other gender work that is mostly happening in different institutions? The difference about this work is that we work with both men and women, and it's about healing, not blaming. when we did that little ritual, you know, because I was positive and, and energized, you know. And when it happened and seeing how genuine it was, and I sat there and I imagined that have other women experienced getting a gift and receiving it as genuinely as they did from a man before. No hidden agendas, I'm just doing this for you. We welcome you into the company of men. I honour your courage. I honour your beauty of spirit. Mm. On behalf of all men, we wish to extend and offer a deep apology for what you've had to go through in your lives. Thank you. And um, so that gives you a little taste of the program. And now we're going to move into an activity.
but before we do, I think Garrett and Desiree are going to introduce a couple of agreements. Thank you, Cynthia. So we want to invite you into just two of the community agreements that we hold as a container within which we do this work. And the first one is confidentiality. What is spoken and shared, even in the short time that we will be together, when you will go into pairs or into whatever configuration or in the bigger group, we ask that this remain confidential to this particular group, to this particular event, uh, whatever is shared when you are paired up with a partner or, or with um, however many people, um, that that stays within those configurations and that it does not come into, into the, bigger, the bigger circle. Um, and also that in this online setting, we are also asking for the commitment that you do not create any recordings um, on your cell phones or whatever devices of this, of this work so that we can hold and um, sacred what has been shared in this group. And after the experience, when you speak to, to other people, we ask that you speak about your experience of the gender equity and reconciliation work and what you have heard and not to name and identify individuals specifically based on what any person might have shared or what you might have heard in, in, in other configurations of the work. Uh, Garrett? Thank you, Des. And just to, just to mention, you you may see that we were recording the first part of this session. We'll be we'll be ending that and ending the live stream as well as we move into this uh, experiential aspect. So the other the other agreement is just around um, safe space and healing intention. So we're asking we ask each person to really be showing up and sharing and listening, participating with that intention to to foster healing and reconciliation um, and to create a safe space for the other people who you're interacting with. So those, though there, you know, in the full program, there are, there are fuller uh, additional agreements, but for this time together, these are the, these are what we're asking everyone to come into. And so, you know, as we kind of at, by, by staying on this call and by participating, we are, um, committing to these two, these two agreements. Thank you, Garrett. So now we are going to move into an experiential process to give 